Alright, welcome everyone, it's Stray Fay here with our season one of Kitty Love Ways to Look for Love. In the last episode, sort of our episode zero, we did the prologue, we learned about our characters, and pretty much how Hinoka got in this situation. <laughs> so she's Hinoka is our protagonist. She is generic flower flower clerk at a flower shop. And yeah, she just she said she she made a wish that she wanted to be a cat and then she got cursed <laughs> to turn to a cat, but only at night. So during the day we'll be able to talk talk to boys. All right, who should we do first? Um, these two, Takuma and Kohei, make the most sense, I think. Um, if you were to turn into a cat, um, you'd probably go to the people that <laughs> you know the most. And I, I mean, kind of like going to your boss might be kind of weird, but I guess Takuma's probably the person that you've been with the most for like the past year. Um, Kohei also makes sense because he's your childhood friend. Okay, the cop, all right. He was nice to you. He helped you against, to help you when like a drunk person was bothering you. So I don't know if the police could help you with your curse, but like maybe, maybe having a friendly face would be, would be uh, good to be around. These last two guys, Kiyosuke and, and, and Mr. Saijo, they're a bit of a stretch, I think. You just got, you just got rude customer and a nice customer. I don't know why you would seek their help. So, I think for my first path, I'm gonna do Kohei Natsume. The childhood friend seems like the most, makes the most sense. All right, you wish to begin a Kohei Natsume's main route? Yes. All right, episode one. Hey, come on, has, has Natsume. Last name's Natsume, had to do it. All right, all right, Hinoka is alone at night. First night as a cat. Uh, now what do I do? Through the eyes of a cat, the city is like another world. I wanna go home, but I think I, I'd get lost. No matter how fast I walk, I can't guess when I'll get home. A cat's steps are small. I should figure out where I am first. I stand up straight and look around. I just, I just imagine her as like a cat trying to like stand on her head and legs like, all right, gotta have a human's perspective. Where the heck am I? But I'm disappointed to find that a cat's eyesight isn't any better than a human's. The distance is blurred. Is it? Well, I guess, I don't know, cats have weird vision. Like they can't see the stuff that's really close to them, but they could see stuff that's far away really well. That's why they have whiskers. The whiskers help feel stuff that's close. But anyway, <laughs> don't need to know that. Bam! Uh-oh. Ow. <laughs> Ouch! A big man looms in front of me. Well, for me, everything seems big right now. I can't move. Meow! Ow! Oh no! He kicks me hard and I crash to a pile into piles of garbage in the alley. Wow, people are wow People are mean. It's a cat. Get out of my way. Ouch! I don't want to run into anyone else like that. I need to get home soon. He must have been having a bad day just to kick like a random cat. Who does that? Who just like walks home from work and just like heck this cat punt. If I was human, I could have easily taken a man like that down. At that thought, I realized I missed something crucial. Wait, if I'm a cat, I can't use my hands. That means I can't use my key. I didn't lock my window to the apartment's corridor, but it doesn't matter. I can't use the key with my paws. What should I do? Even if I do get back, if I can't get in, It'll be no different from spending the night on the streets. That's an especially scary thought as a little cat. Is there anyone I can ask for help? Hmm. Friends I have around here. Well, 
I only just decided to move to this area after taking the job at the flower shop. So most of my friends live in other towns. But I guess I can think of an acquaintance. My boss, Takuma. It's not like I can just explain the situation to him though. I don't even know if he likes cats. Besides him, there's... Kohei! I recalled my childhood friend Kohei Natsume. Kohei will listen if I explain the curse to him and tell him I've been turned to a cat. I know he'll be angry and tell me I'm stupid. Kohei has been looking out for me since I was a child. I know he'll be understanding of my situation if I just talk to him. But where does he live? He came into my shop so many times after he moved. I've been busy with work, so I wasn't able to talk to him very much. All I know is that he lives in town now. I can't think of anyone other than him. Well, if I'm being honest, I just don't know anybody around here. Not even as an acquaintance. I can't just trust people that I've only met for work with this. And I've been working non-stop with no time to improve my social life. Suddenly, I remember what the black cat said about the curse. To break the curse, you have to kiss the person you love. Will I be able to find love? I've been so busy every day since I started work. I had no time to think about love. The only two acquaintances that I could think of were Takuma and Kohei. So, what do I do now? I started walking again slowly. Where am I? I walked without thinking and now nothing around me looks familiar. I can see the vague shapes of neon lights. I guess I'm close to downtown? Oh no, stray cat. <laughs> Meow, meow. <laughs> Sorry about my cat impersonation. I realized I'm cornered by two other cats. H hey there, kitties. Calm down. Uh, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Oh, that's right. I'm a cat now, too. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. The stray cats start meowing and rubbing their bodies against my- Uh-oh. <laughs> You're gonna- <laughs> The kitty's gonna have their way with you. Hey, stop it. I try to get away from them, but they keep following me. Uh-oh. Are you in heat, Hanoka? Meow. 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 Are they trying to hit on me? <laughs> meow. I have to run. I dash away as fast as I can. Uh oh, that'd be a, that would be a start. <laughs> Your first night as a cat. I've been running for a while. My paws hurt and I'm covered with mud. I don't think I can go any further. Meow. They're still chasing me. I have no strength left and nowhere to hide. Meow. Oh no, my legs won't move. Feeling helpless, I close my eyes. Oh, purr. purr. Huh? They're not attacking me at all. All I hear is their purrs. What are you guys doing? That one doesn't seem to like you two. I know that voice. I open my eyes slowly. Kohei? Kohei was holding two stray cats. <laughs> He's wearing a suit. Is he walking back from work? Why is he in this back street? Shh. After sending the stray cats, Kohei approaches me. The <laughs> Bad boys. Come on, let's go. You must be scared. Don't worry, I'll get you cleaned up. <laughs> I guess he knows those cats. <laughs> Who would just pick up two like feral cats and like come out unscathed? Oh, oh, what? 
Kakawe gently picks me up, heals me against his chest, and rubs my head. He starts walking again. Maybe he's taking me somewhere close by. Why are you just kidnapping this random cat? It's like, oh, what a nice cat. I think I'll pick it up and take it. Who does that? I'm really happy, but... Koei, do you really know how to take care of a cat? I'm being held against Kohei's chest feels really nice. His arms support my entire body. I guess I can g go, gow, go with him. I feel so secure when he holds me this way. Are you okay? I've got you, so don't worry. I'm gonna have trouble, trouble switching voices. Kohei presses my body closer against the suit. Even a suit feels nice. Oh, his suit! My body is covered with mud. I look at Koei's chest to see muddy stains are already forming. Uh, what should I do? I'm gonna ruin his suits! Just jump away, be careful, and try not to ruin it or ignore it. <laughs> Alright, um, how about we. Well, it'd probably be rude if we, like, jumped away and, like, tried to run away from him, so, uh, let's just. Stay in his arms, but let's be careful and try not to ruin it. Up! Is that the right choice? I'll be careful not to ruin your suits. <laughs> also, that up... Kinda not helpful because I've also tried like selecting other dialogue choices that were like clearly wrong and it's also said up as well, so... Eh, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Um... And other than that, this game is pretty lenient about, like, about dialogue choices. I- you can make a few mistakes and you- you can still get the good ending. I, I guess it just depends on what story you're on. I try to take my dirty arms and legs away from him. Hmm? Sorry, are you uncomfortable? Koei adjusts his hold to support my body more firmly against his. W wait, Kohei! I'll make even more of a mess if you do this. I stop struggling and he smiles, satisfied. Go ahead, you look happy. But I'm so sorry I ruined your suit. Kohei walks along with a gentle smile on his face. The warmth of his body relaxes me. You can sleep. I'll be careful not to wake you. He's so kind. This is totally different from the attitude he usually has towards me. This <laughs> is just like not saying anything. Does he like cats and pets? Wow. You really did fall asleep. You must be really tired. I fall asleep to the sound of his gentle voice. <laughs> Meow. I feel a small shake and wake up with a jolt. Uh, go hey. Why are we so close? Oh, you're awake now. Hey, don't don't panic. I saw his face the moment I opened my eyes and I freaked out. Kohei, you're so close. That is... Kohei, you're so big. Oh my, Kohei, you're so big. <laughs> this is... This is my place. I brought you here to clean you up, is that okay? Clean me up? I... I see. Speaking of which... I look at my own body and see that it's the same as when he found me. I still look like a like a white cat. Meow. <laughs> oh good, you've calmed down. Are you alright? I won't do anything to hurt you. I can only trust him now. I want to tell him so I rub my cheek against against him. Okay, I'll take you to my room then. In the door we go. Oh boy, we're already in the, we're already in his room. First night. So this is where Kohei lives. I'm kinda excited to see it. Maybe it's because he's acting so different from usual. He steps into the bathroom. Will you make me take a shower? I don't really want to. Maybe I'm becoming more and more like a real cat, so I don't want to go in the water? I shiver. I have a bad feeling about this. Will I be able to become a human again in the morning? 
Christmas. Sorry to keep you waiting. You don't like water, do you? I brought you a warm towel. This is better, isn't it? Oh, he's actually... <laughs> This is actually normal clothes, he's not in his Japanese business suit. Kahoe had changed his clothes and now he's holding a steaming white towel. Well, let's consider it. Kai <laughs> probably knows not to dunk a cat. He slowly wraps it around me. It's warm like Kahoe's body as he held me. If this is too strong for you, just run away. Kohei moves the towel slowly. I can tell that he's being careful not to hurt me. I always thought that he was a clumsy person, but he's so good at petting a cat. <laughs> Meow. I want to thank him, so I start to wave my tail in the air. Seems like you like this, huh? Come here, let me clean you off. Kohei cleans each and one of my toes, even the sharp nails. All covered in mud like this? You must be clumsy. Despite his scolding words, Kohei's expression and touch remain gentle. Maybe he really loves cats. I'm so relaxed that my body goes limp at his touch. Oh my! Hanoka! <laughs> it's just like a cat. He's like, take me, please. Finally, you're clean. Let me wipe you with a dry towel and that's it. I look up. In the mirror, I see Kohei and a white cat. <laughs> That's the derpiest looking cat! Oh, poor Honoka, you couldn't have been like a cool looking cat. You're just like this, you look like a weird inbred cat with like ab abnormally bug eyes. <laughs> I guess it's cute though. You have such a cute face. This is. Me? The cat in the mirror is shining white. It looks like parts of the fur have a pink tint. I stare at the reflection for a little while. I guess it's just because she does have pink hair, so I guess I have to make a little, little pink here and there. Is it fun to look in the mirror? It's the first time I've seen myself as a cat. I reply to Kohei with a twitch of my tail. Kohei understands what I wanted to say. I feel so happy that I approached him to nudge his palm with my head. Oh, you really are cute, aren't you? Doll. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so clean now. Go ahead, hug me with a new towel. I was really happy that you came here with me. I was afraid you might run away. Meow. 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 I was really lucky to be found by Kohei. Even if, even if I try my best to express my gratitude, he wouldn't understand. <laughs> You're really cute. I don't want to let you go. Uh, he, he's joking, right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's cat sexual. <laughs> I can't help feel, but feel surprised at his words. He never used, used words like cute before. He's so different from usual. Now that you're refreshed, should we eat something? Meow, meow. Now that he mentions it, I'm I am pretty hungry. I got this for you. I hope you like it. Kohei holds up a plastic bag from the convenience store. He got some milk and canned food for cats. I told him not to go to the trouble, but he couldn't understand me. No matter how hungry I may be, I don't really want to eat cat food. You should drink something at least. He places a shallow dish on the floor and fills it with milk. Drink if you want to. Cat's milk. Well, he did go out and buy it for me. It'd be rude if I didn't drink just a little. I sniff at it. It has a nice, sweet smell. I'll just have a sip. I dip my tongue in the milk. Huh? It tastes so good! Once I have a taste, I can't stop myself. I'm so hungry that I almost put my whole face in it. Oh. 
Meow. Meow. Oh, oh, so you like it? I bet you are starving. There's a lot here, so drink all you want. I now have the same taste as a cat. That makes me a little bit worried, but I can't stop myself from drinking more. Gohei pours more milk into the bowl. It's lucky that I found this cat milk. You're a grown cat, so you'd probably be alright, but I heard that some kittens can't tolerate cow's milk. Oh, cow milk can be bad for cats? I didn't know that. Kohei took his time shopping. He probably went around several stores to get me this special milk. Kohei is really kind. He gently rubbed my head as I drank. Kohei knows too much information about cats, doesn't he? He even knew about the milk. He was so confident when holding and cleaning me. Seems like he really he's really into cats, but I've never heard him say about say anything about this. He always knew so much, even when we were little. I eyed him suspiciously. Uh, what's wrong? You want to go home now? Huh? No, of course not! Kohei stands up and opens the window. I feel shocked by his gesture. I want to stay here a bit longer, can I? Okay, you can go out anytime. What? You want to stay here? I run towards Kohei and rub myself against him. This. <laughs> Kohei lifts me up and brushes my fur with his hand. If you don't have anywhere else to go, you can stay here. Not for too long, though. So I guess he didn't mean it when he said he didn't want to let me go. I realize I'm starting to feel sad that he didn't mean his words and push down those feelings. What am I thinking? I have to turn back into a human being as soon as possible. She's like almost content about being a cat. Like, I'll be your pet. You give me food. Uh, what's wrong? Are you thinking about something? You have wrinkles between your eyes. Kohei holds me in his arms and strokes my tail. Meow. Does that feel good? A lot of cats like this. He's... He's really used to taking care of cats. Aren't you hungry? Let me feed you. Meow. He really knows how... He really knows how to understand cats. <laughs> Words. <laughs> He's one year older than I am and used to be my neighbor. Our moms were on good terms too, so naturally we played together often when we were, when we were kids. Here, I'll skip it out for you. So eat it bit by bit. If you go too fast, you'll get a stomach ache. Ugh. The stuff on this food is definitely cat food. But, but, it looks so delicious. I accept a bite and surprised at the flavor that spreads through my mouth. As I eat, I contemplate what I've heard about Kohei. I never heard any anyone mention Kohei liking animals. Uh, but... I think something happened when we were little. Even though I was lost in thought, I didn't stop eating, and soon the can is empty. <laughs> you really eat well. You're a foodie, aren't you? You remind me of someone I know. Huh? Someone? Do you want to have another one? It's superior canned tuna for cats. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> like, please! <laughs> The superior canned tuna interrupts my reverie. Food? You're just like... Just like my cat, Sybil. Just loves food. <laughs> wow, it's already this late? I was relaxing after dinner and now I look up at the clock. Wow, it is quite late. I usually go to bed around this time. I wonder what time he goes to sleep. Uh, I have work tomorrow, so I have to take a shower. Meow. I guess it's about time. I should probably get home. I stand up and look over at Kohei. Don't be sad. You can come back anytime. Hi. <laughs> someone's online. I don't know what they're playing though. Meow. Thank you, Kohei. I can't count how many times I tried to express my gratitude to Kohei tonight. 
But I do it again anyways, even though he can't understand me. I step outside, jump from the fence, and land on the ground. This was a really weird night. I wish it was all a dream, but it's difficult to deny that this was all real. There are so many things that I don't understand, but I also learned something new. Koei seems to be really into cats. If I turn into a cat again, I'll probably go visit his house. I felt really comfortable staying with my childhood friend. Probably even more than I did when I was a human. <laughs> talks to, he talks to you more when you're a cat. Anyway, I have to go home now. I'm full of good food, so I have much more energy. I think I'll be able to find a street I recognize if I walk for a little bit. I'm here back home in my new cat form.